Hi, my name's Jay Hope you're okay today and I just want to share with you um, some thoughts of the anger that some atheists are showing me the last couple of days and my response to it there is the last couple of days has been a rage against Jay against me from the atheist uh, they're pretty some of them are pretty angry with me for some of the things that I've been saying I just want to tell them a story there was in Czechoslovakia Czechoslovakia in Prague a reformer um, I get his date uh, 1369 to 1415 whose name was John Huss John Huss stood up against the Catholic hierarchy and denounced it for being totalitarian well the Catholic hierarchy uh, the bishop in that area had John Huss arrested and they put him on uh, a fire and they said it before they set him alight they were reading him his last rites and mocking him saying that he's a goose everybody was saying the soldiers the, the bishop everybody was saying that that John Hoss was a goose in other words they were going to fry him cook him okay alive but John Hoss before they set him alight said this he said you may be able to get rid of me but one day there'll be a swan who'll come you'll not be able to put down well the bishop and everybody had laughed set him alight and burnt him many 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 years later a young monk called Martin Luther was to shake Europe to its foundations by discovering the gospel of grace when he was ordained Martin Luther who was to change the whole of Europe and his history who was to completely break the power of the Catholic Church within Europe when he was to be ordained he went to a cathedral and he lied on the floor right in front of the altar and there he was ordained all right as he lay on the floor to be ordained with his hand stretched out right underneath his belly believe it or not was the tomb of the bishop that condemned John Huss to death and John Huss said to him there'll be a swan who'll come up that you can't put down and that bishop laughed at John Huss but that bishop had the swan ordained over his dead body Martin Luther because Martin Luther rose up and he was used mightily to bring the Catholic Church down in Europe and to set Europe free in the freedom of the gospel of grace so I'm no goose atheist I'm a swan and you've got to get used to the fact that you're never going to be able to put me down I come in that history of line of John Huss and Martin Luther and I am following that line of gospel preachers serving the Lord and proclaiming the gospel so you've no chance atheist so I would ask all Christians to rise up and be swans and not be silent and proclaim the gospel 
<coughs> and I'd ask all atheists to turn to Jesus and trust in him and you become a swan and you become a missionary for Jesus and preach the gospel but all the enemies who are angry at me and are raging against me let me tell you this I'm a swan and I'm here to preach the gospel and I fear not one, not ten, not ten thousand, nor ten million hardcore atheists. I fear not one of you, but I love my Lord and will proclaim him till the day I die. For I know that there is absolutely nothing in atheism. There is nothing in atheism, but there is everything in Christ. For in Christ is all the fullness of the God and bodily. In him is joy, in him is peace, in him is love, in him is glory, in him he died at the cross and shed his blood for you and me at Calvary. And he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And he died on that cross for you, and he died on that cross for me, and he came to save us, he came to give us hope, only in the darkness only in the tragedy and brokenness of life can you find hope in Christ. Only in Him, only in the Lord will you get hope and strength and joy, atheist. Only in the Lord, Christian, you will find peace and joy. I met someone the other day who feels that they're going to die because they've got a disease. And I turned and I said to them, put your eyes upon Jesus, trust in Him. Because in Him you will conquer death. Oh, my dear friends, don't spend your life on vain speculations of men, arguing about different speculative ideas about God. Come to know the living God yourself in Christ. Come to know the joy of the Lord in Christ. He is the one that we need to trust, atheist. He is the one, and I want to be a swan. I want to fly for Christ and proclaim Him. I want to proclaim Him through the housetops. I want to proclaim Him on the streets. I want to proclaim Him everywhere. Because Christ is the Son of God. Christ is alive. Christ is the Lord. And praise His holy name, atheist. We don't want to be in, in these silly arguments all the time. Debating and arguing for the existence of God when you don't even want God, when you don't even want Jesus. Why argue with people who don't want Jesus? Why spend your time speculating with people who don't want Jesus? Go to those who want Jesus. Atheists, why do you argue when you don't want Jesus? Search for Christ. Search for the Lord. Seek Him while you may find. You say, Jay, you're off, you're dead, mate, you're crazy. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. This is truth. This is life. This is it, atheist. Oh, he is the, the altogether lovely one. He is the sweet saviour. He is alive, atheist. He is alive. He really is alive. He does care. He is the king. He is atheist. He'll come to you and he'll meet you where you're at. And he will touch you. And he will fill you and give you strength. But you're walking in darkness. You're walking in, in blindness if you do not know the Lord. And you say, Jay, we, we've got massive powerful arguments against you. We've got powerful arguments against you. You haven't got powerful arguments. We can pull them down in Christ. We can pull your arguments down. For in Christ we pull the strongholds of Satan down. In Christ we pull the strongholds of atheism down. For Christ is powerful. Hitchens could never stand against Christ. Sam Harris can never stand against Christ. And you can never stand against Christ. He is the Saviour, the Lord, the King, the Mighty One, the Glorious One. He is Emmanuel. He is our Saviour. He is Jesus. He is King. He is God in the flesh. He is all the one that we need today. He is. He is. He is the one, folks. He's the one. He's the one. He's the master. He's the savior. He's the Christ. He's God. He did all those great miracles. He came and he died on the cross and he rose again. He's the one. He's the one. All the prophets died. Muhammad died. Buddha died. But Christ rose again. Nietzsche died, but Christ rose again. Hitchens died, but Christ rose again. 
Christ conquered death. And you said, man, we can know all there is about science and all there is about philosophy. But at the end of the day, you're guilty before God. You're guilty. You're the sinner. You're under the wrath of God. You're under the judgments of God. The power of God is coming. And the wrath of God is coming. For He is a holy, mighty, powerful God. And you're going to come under the wrath of God. But you can escape the wrath of God if you turn to Christ and trust in Him. And believe in Him. And I'll die preaching this faith. You can burn me. You can shoot me. You can kill me. I'll still proclaim this word. Because it's the truth. I want to be a swamp. I want to be like Luther and proclaim the word. I want to proclaim it all my days. All my days. Through rain. Through fire. Through suffering. Through whatever. I want to do this. I want to proclaim my Lord and Savior. I want to do it, folks. I want to do it for Jesus. Because he's beautiful. He's worthy of the sacrifice. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of it, folks. He's worthy of it. To give all our hearts, all our strength, all our mind. To give it all for Jesus. Oh, it's wonderful. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise Jesus! Praise Him! Praise Him! Hallelujah! King of kings! Lord of lords! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We have the truth. Hallelujah! Praise Jesus! Let's put a song on. Here we are, this is one of my favourites. Have we got time? Here we on fire Lord Lord set us on fire Lord set us on fire for Jesus Lord let us burn for Jesus Lord fill us Lord with your Holy Spirit give us the power and the strength to proclaim your name help us Lord to go into the byways and highways and byways to proclaim Him, our Saviour and God. We praise you, Jesus. Why would you die at Calvary for us? Why would you call us to salvation? Why would you forgive us, O Christ? For thou art merciful and gracious and kind and sweet. And we want to proclaim you, Lord. We want to proclaim you all our days. King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus our Savior. Christ our God. Hallelujah. What a Savior. We praise you Jesus. Praise you Lord. All our days. Nothing can compare to him. Nothing. Nothing. Sad souls, lift up your hearts to Jesus. Atheists, lift up your hearts to Jesus and come to the Lord. And trust Him. Trust Him. Trust Him. All your days. God bless you.